Jesse Ahmet, Mrs. North Dakota International 2019 is here with the North Dakota pageant director, Janelle Steinberg, to tell us about the upcoming pageant in January 2020. Thank you ladies both for being here Thank today. You. And what exactly is a platform? A platform is the thing that you care about. It's the it's the passion in your heart that makes you want to change the world. What I've discovered is most people already have a platform. They're just not calling it a platform. They're calling it, I volunteer a lot with, or I really care about, or when I hear it on the news, I just get fired up. That's your platform. And platforms can be varied uh, as broadly as women are varied. Jessie's mm -hmm. platform is Girl Scouts, so she has spent her year advocating for leadership skills in girls. Wow, that is so wonderful. So. What areas do the contestants compete in? Well, they compete in four different areas. So the most heavily weighted in our international pageant system is interview. Mm -hmm. And so again, because of your platform and what you want to do with that title, um, interview is the most is 50% of your score for Mrs. category. Uh, we do a private interview and then we also do an onstage question as well. Then you also compete in evening gown, which of course is very fun, and um, fitness wear. And then some of the categories compete in fun fashion as well. So, Jesse, you are going to be crowning the next Mrs. in January, handing the baton on to the next yes. queen. So how does that feel after this whole year? Oh, well, lots of emotions. Um, it's been just, I've thoroughly enjoyed this year. It's been so much fun to get to come on uh, North Dakota Today, to do all kinds of different workshops, um, to work with American Heart Association. Um, so I'm, I'm, ex I'm a little sad that that will be done. But I am really excited to see who our next Mrs. North Dakota International will be. We've got amazing contestants, um, all with different platforms, different passions, um, but each one of them would do just a wonderful job. It, it's, it's always sad that only one can take that title on, but I'm excited to see who that will be and turn the year over to them. And I know that you talk about pageantry as being a sisterhood. So tell us a little bit more about what that means to you. So it's so much different than I ever thought pageants would be. And Janelle and I have been friends for a long time and she would tell me about it. And I, I didn't really understand, kind of had that stereotype of pageants in my head until I finally took a minute to read about it, to look at our website, uh, to talk to Janelle about what it is. And um, it's so many things, but it is just a wonderful sisterhood where we, you know, we get to network together, to work together um, on our different platforms with our different passions. And you know, we've all got each other's backs. So it's not what you think when you think we're comparing and competing. Um, never have I felt so comfortable in my own skin, so proud of my own abilities and talents, and so wanting to be able to pull that out of others and to lift up women together rather than competing against each other. That's so wonderful to hear and so needed for all so women needed. in society. Yeah. <laughs> and you have an event coming up that you're collaborating on. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Oh, yes. Jesse's really heading that up. It's with, I'm going to let you take it. Okay, you sure. Know all the time. <laughs> Um, so we have, um, I think the picture is up here of Miss, Miss Amazing um, Junior Teen Minnesota. And she is the daughter of a, a friend of ours named Marissa who's heading up the Joy Project. And so what she does is uh, works to coordinate meals and stockings and presents for families living in temporary housing. Um, so that is coming up. We're having um, a blanket making project. And so with another title holder who that's her platform, we're going to all come together, make some blankets, donate to the Joy Project. And then they are looking for volunteers too for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day to carry out that mission to really make the holidays happier for those living in temporary housing. Wonderful. And if anyone wants to help out, how's the best way to learn more about this wonderful organization? Well, we are still accepting contestants for our January pageant, so I would just say get on that website, get on Facebook, ask us. We would love to help, and we can make you stage ready for January, and we'll plug you right into all sorts of different ways to volunteer. Thank you, ladies, so much for coming Thank in. Thank you. All right, stick around. Much more to come on North Dakota Today.